Alrighty, ninjas, the time has finally arrived. We are watching Ninja 3 The Domination. I had no idea uh, what to expect when I started this movie, and it still was unlike anything I have ever seen. My god, it is a ride. I can't wait to talk about it though, so let's get to it because this is Red Eye Reviews. Okay, first things first. Everybody, I am going on a week's vacation starting tomorrow, which sadly means no videos next week, unless I somehow power through another one before I leave, but uh, realistically, that's probably not going to happen. However, I will be back in action the following Wednesday, July 21st, but enough business, let's get on to something more important, ninjas. We start with this dude going full Indiana Jones and finding his secret stash of ninja gear hidden in a mountainside cave. Why? We don't know. Why is it backlit? We also don't know. This is Hanjuro, and he is an evil ninja. Why? Well, we don't know. They uh, do not tell us. But he gets all decked out, and he sneaks onto a local golf course, and we see this politician playing golf. Okay, so firstly, yeah, uh, it's bad you guys are getting attacked by a uh, ninja, whatever. But more importantly, don't ever pick up somebody else's ball. Do you know nothing of golf etiquette? Ninja Man does mess all of these people up, but luckily some local guards are on patrol and they do the only job they legally are allowed to do, which is uh, call the real police. <laughs> they can't do anything. But these cops show up, they get to do the thing we all have so desperately wanted to do, which is drive your car onto a golf course. I am super envious, but these cops are terrible. Like, motorcycle guys? Are you, are you even trying? You just driving around having fun? I would do the same thing. It's totally fine. And after several minutes of cops being garbage, uh, one cop actually attempts to use his gun. Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't work very well, but he made an effort. That's more than all of his co-workers. Our ninja eventually climbs this tree. He makes his way into a helicopter and does probably the coolest kill of all time. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. But then this dude is just going through the motions. He's like, hold on, I'll get him. He's like, yeah, okay, man, I'll be fine. Um, I'm just losing brain juice because there's a ninja star in my head. The cops do eventually outnumber him, like, I don't know, 50 to 1. And the cops are dropping like flies still. And from the way these guys are standing, maybe not all entirely the ninja's doing. They are blind firing all over the place. Like, how many casualties, sir? Well, he was a super strong ninja. He, he took out a lot of us. With a gun? I see a lot of these cops have bullet wounds in them. Oh, uh-huh, yeah... He had a gun. No, it's not like we were standing on opposite sides of him or anything like that. But he does sneak away by turning into the Pokemon Diglett, which that's pretty cool. He's like an earthbender. Meanwhile, Christy is attempting to fix a telephone pole at the golf course. She sees our bullet-filled ninja. So she heads over and takes a look. What guy? What guy? Oh, Canon Films. I know you could do better fake blood than that. What is that? You put a ninja star in a child's head in the previous movie, and then you give us this? You are better than this, and y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. But he starts saying a bunch of stuff in Japanese. She grabs his sword, and then an ominous wind blows over her, so uh, something tells me this isn't over. She goes to the police station, and this dude immediately starts to hit on her. Killed security guards, policemen, and we know nothing about him. Give her a break, Lieutenant. Hey, give her a break, Lieutenant. Cops uh, get killed in our precinct all the time. This is just another day here in the 9 9. That's how we do it in the 9 9, sir. Catch bad guys and look good doing it. Yeah, this walking trash is named Billy, and Billy is the worst. Oh my god, you were even there? Dude, you watched like 20 of your coworkers die today? And you're just unfazed when ladies are around that you want to hit on? So she tells him, hey bro, 
I don't want to date you. Uh, I don't really like cops. And the fact that you're so okay with all of these coworkers dying hours ago is really disturbing. And he's like, yeah, I get you. And then she gets home and he calls her. Hello? Yeah, she's right here. Hey, look, would you just lay off it, buddy? It's just not in the cards, all right? Like, immediately. And she never gave him her number. So this creep, like, must have looked it up at a database. But she's fine with it. It's creepy as hell. But then we get the classic 80s jazzercise class. You're telling me. And this entire scene is my favorite part of the movie. Oh, okay, so far. Favorite part so far. Uh, real quick, back it up, lady. Straighten your back, please, because you are about to cripple yourself. And then, old Billy shows up here too. Like, literally, illegally got her phone number, and then stalked her to her class. Ugh, this dude is the worst. Then right outside the class, these bros are basically trying to physically assault a lady in front of everybody. Nobody seems to give a shit. And then when Christy attempts to help, they straight up start fighting her. But she somehow knows some secret ninja powers dominates these dudes. And what is old Billy Blue Balls doing, you might ask? He's watching. Yeah, the cop. He just, he's just watching all this go down. Yeah. And then he insists on driving her home. And while in the car, he laughs like a goddamn maniac. I just want to take you back to my old neighborhood. There's a guy there I want you to beat up for me. <laughs> and then he says this. Stop the car. Look, Christy, I'm only trying to help. You get charged with assault for what you did to those guys. Yeah, she would get fined for what she did back there. Not the guys. Yeah, I've never hated anybody as much as I hate Billy Blue Balls. But she must dig creeps because she's weirdly into it. Like you just told him how you weren't easy. And now all of a sudden you're seeming pretty, uh, what's the word? Easy? But that night, the evil ninja spirit sword, it floats its way out of the closet. Totally not on a string or anything like that. And then you ready for the real kicker? This garbage, overly hairy cop guy wakes up full on sees the samurai sword and goes, that is beautiful. God, this is beautiful. Dude, d does it not register to you that this belonged to the samurai that you just fought at the golf course? You know, the one who had a sword that looked uh, just like this one? You know, that, uh, that sword that mysteriously wasn't with his dead body when you found it? No? My God, you are the dumbest person of all time. He then finds her on the streets while she's working to hit on her even more. Great. I'll call you later, okay? Sure. Bye. Later that night, she's hanging out in her room, and uh, the place goes full on Ghostbusters, like meets The Exorcist meets Footloose. Uh, meets Tron, I guess. Tron 2. It looks like she's about to get sucked into the grid. I don't know, but now she's officially possessed. And uh, this, uh, well, th this is, uh, that's just unfortunate. I see what the intent was, but I mean, we're going to pretend this is something that uh, it's not. And let's move forward, because now she is possessed and she's going to go kill some of those cops that were responsible for killing the ninja at the golf course. What the yeah! What the hell? Oh. Oh. Eh, it's pretty cool. It's not like my top five or anything, but it's technically a fight. So, I, yeah, it does count. And now, we're going to play a little game. It's time to play Spot the Plot-Related Character. It's real subtle this round, so pay attention. That's right, it's this lady. I'm just kidding, it is this dude. Obviously it's this guy. His name is Goro, and he has a past with the ninja ghost, and he's come to kill him, or like kill his ghost. We're not quite sure. So Princess Leia and Chewbacca head back to her place, and for real, Billy is hairy AF. Shave your back, please. 
But she's all confused because, like, she doesn't know where all these bruises came from. She just knows you know, I black out all the time. That's it. So on his way out the door, he's like, hey, let's meet at the police station. But, uh, you know, let's take separate cars and wait just a little bit between when we uh, leave so some plot can develop. So they do just that. And when she gets to the station, she sees uh, Ben Stiller's dad just being a ladies man. All right. It isn't Jerry Stiller. So don't like freak out or anything but my god does it really look like it was shades on and this police station really has me confused it feels like a fraternity or something i'm not quite sure what's going on but she sees him she goes all ninja ghost again heads to this weird ass spa that he went to what the hell kind of place is this this guy's a real jerk and then murders the shit out of everybody there Uh, Ninja Hunter Goro shows up just a little too late. He sees the dead people. Is your eye patch like a bottle opener too? I think it is. It just feels unnecessarily large. That's all I'm saying. We cut back to Christy and the demon is being a real jerk. So she's like, screw you demon. I'm just going to dance you out of me. I'll sweat all that nasty ninja spirit right out. Uh, Billy shows up because he's always here now. And even the cameraman is like, Billy... My God, you are a creep. He leans in a little too much and his glasses fall off in the frame. Luckily for him, uh, this is Canon Films. Yeah, uh, we don't have the budget to reshoot this stuff, so we're just going to roll with it. Pretend like your glasses didn't fall off. But they talk about how there's this Japanese dude downtown that specializes in exorcisms. And they should at least go and chat with the guy. And right off the bat, it feels like a bad idea. Like, they can't really even afford their electricity bill. Which implies the business might not do very well, but that's fine. They go inside, they meet our healer guy and his assistant, and you can tell she's Japanese by uh, how much eyeliner she uses, yeah. Because according to the world of this movie, all Japanese people use a shit ton of eyeliner. And thus is the word of canon films. And now we get hands down the best scene in the whole movie. Like at this point, everyone, including myself, has forgotten this is a ninja movie, uh, we don't care at all anymore. We are watching a Canon Films parody of The Exorcism, and it is absolutely everything I have ever wanted in a movie. Baby, we better stop. No. You finish it. My God, yes, please finish it. I need more. Okay, uh, <laughs> oh my god, real quick, 100% the guys over at Canon Films wanted to make a ninja movie, and then they did a ton of cocaine, and they watched The Exorcist, and then one of them was like, hey, I have a thought. What if we put an evil ninja demon into some lady's body, and she went full on exorcist? Full on exorcist? Oh shit, yeah, full on, like, Double voice. We're going to have her spin around like a goddamn top. It's going to be amazing. But eventually she tires herself out. They have a quick talk. She is possessed by a, a black ninja with all the powers of the nine hand cutting. Only a ninja can destroy a ninja. Uh, Only a ninja can destroy a ninja? That's, yeah, that's not true. Because I've seen Burning Man aficionados do it. I've seen shirtless military bros do it with no weapons. I'm pretty sure the common man is more capable of fighting than a ninja. But what do I know? I've only seen like 10 of these movies. Meanwhile, Goro, the man, the myth, the bottle opener, he fights his way into the morgue to see the dead ninja body. Can we help you? Yeah, bro, we're too busy for this because as you can see by our scrubs, uh, we're doctors. You know, so we got a lot of important stuff going on. So he gets in, he takes the dead ninja's body, he gets a tiny flashback. <laughs> he has history with the ninja? My, how the plot thickens. Didn't even know you had a plot. No kidding. Meanwhile, Christy remembers uh, nothing. Hypnotize you, that's all. That's why all the bruises. 
Yes. But you spun around like a goddamn carnival ride. That's why. My God. <laughs> I want to watch it again. Could somebody make this into a loading icon right now? So some cops walk over pretending to have a job. Hi. Marty Winslow. Sergeant Pickwick. Yeah, my name is Pickwick. Uh, P Peter Pickle Pickwick. I, I pick... <laughs> I'm not going to do it. But she knows these guys were also there when the ninja spirit died, so obviously she has the urge to kill again. So she goes home, and now the demon's, like, really trying to come out. Also, her apartment is, like, ghetto as hell. Can I just point this out to you guys? Like, you have a gym locker, you have a race car suit, a ceiling AC fan on the top of your fridge, and I think you stole the trash can from a Burger King. Like, it is nuts in here. But yeah, the demon, he's real mad. <laughs> Okay, hold on. What are these voices? Like, is anyone else expecting to see a bunch of gremlins start popping out of shit? You can't beat the power of rock and roll. <laughs> okay, so I got out of focus. I'm sorry. So we cut to the police funeral. Whose funeral? We don't know. These dudes die, like, in the dozens every goddamn day here. It could be anybody. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me by staff. They comfort me. I was prepared a table before me in the present. Also, whoever is coughing like a mofo, this is COVID times. I would like to request he also be put in the hole. But Ninja Christie is starting to just straight, like, murk these bros from a tree. Peter Pickle Pickwick is shitting the bed real hard. I don't know where you're even aiming. Are you playing Duck Hunt? Focus, man. But after a few, like, not very tense moments where she just has, like, all day to climb a tree and stuff, uh, she does get away. Goro, our ninja bro, follows her. He puts his shirt on the fence, and then he just easily jumps it. I, I don't know why. He does, I'm confused. But he does follow her into this unfinished construction site. She starts to, like, home alone a bunch of shit down the stairs, but she quickly runs out of appliances. They fight for a bit, but then when the cops arrive, she escapes, and Goro gets arrested. Billy Creeper uh, talks to Goro to get more information. Again, if you're confused where Goro is from, he's Japanese. And you can tell that because he's wearing a lot of eyeliner. He does easily escape police custody. <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, only sleeping. Hey! Oh. And now that Billy knows the truth that there is like a demon inside of Christy, he goes to confront her. You know, because he's pissed. Because it just dawned on him that he's been banging some 40-year-old Japanese ninja man like this whole time. I saw everything. I haven't killed anybody. No. No. Ah. No. But she does get away. They get in a car chase. And yeah, I get it, man. It's like, I've played Forza, the video game. You always think you can turn a little faster than you actually can. I understand. So she gets away. She heads to this monk temple. Goro also goes to the monk temple. And up at the building, these Goku cosplayers are practicing for the next Comic-Con event. And he's like, get out of here, cosplayers. Goro does track her down. You can help me? Yes. Is it true that only a ninja can destroy a ninja? It's true. Yeah, no, it's not true. Like, do not listen to him. I swear to God, you could be a frat bro in Hawaii on spring break. You could still kick a ninja's ass. I promise you. So they get in a fight. He's about to kill her, but she turns into a force ghost. Uh, this ninja spirit goes back into his original body, which I guess he can do that. And now we see the first official ninja fight of our movie that has the word ninja in the title. It's happened an hour and 20 minutes in. And it is pretty great, you know? But we do get in trouble because he starts playing some new age anime music and we all know Goku cosplayers go crazy for that shit. And they want more, but Goro is standing in their way so we get some more fights here. And they're like, hey, do you guys like Super Mario Brothers? Yeah, I love that game, especially that level where you climb on the fencing and you flip around through the gates and stuff. And then the ninja ghost 
reincarnated exorcist guy. He pieces out. Goro goes after him. And then Billy finds Christy, now officially unpossessed. I think I'm going to be all right now. Yeah, I'll be all right. Uh, You could tell because I'm no longer wearing any eyeliner. God, they are moving a lot during this kiss. Hold on. Have I been kissing wrong this whole time? Should I be taking notes? They all go. They find the ninja up in the hills. And at this point, Billy, I think, has completely forgotten not only that he's a cop, but that he has a gun because he doesn't do uh, anything. They do some more fighting. Ninja guy is about to die, but then he does some ninja magic and twirls his way underground. Like really, really slowly with no one doing anything about it. Goro? Uh, Billy? No one? Okay, cool. That's fine. He got away and now we get an earthquake. Yeah, that's what happens. Ninja earthquake powers activate. Form of a plot extender. And you guys deserve this. But for real, the man just can't die. Like, this is getting too much. Finish him off. Good. Okay, he is officially dead, uh, we think. Is it over? Are you sure? Did you burn his body? Ugh, don't bow. You, You don't know any ninja shit. God damn it. I hate you so much, Billy. What did I say? I, I knew he wasn't dead. Dude, this, see, this is how you got an entire Chucky franchise, okay? Just kill the damn thing right the first time. It's a goddamn doll. How did they make eight of those movies? Sorry. Anyways, movie is over. It was fantastic. It is technically a ninja movie, I, I suppose. It's on the list. It's named Ninja. It was awesome. But let's move on to Red Eye Reacts. <laughs> All right, that is probably the coolest thing ever. Ah, I used to have a remote-controlled helicopter too. Wow, this looks like me flying it too. I was, I was not, I was not good. Wait, are you working out on top of carpet? Just like dripping into it? Ugh, that's gross. Oh my god, V8. Which one of the vegetables in V8 do you think is an aphrodisiac? Is it celery? It's just that I'm feeling really weird. Just go to sleep, and I'll be there by morning. You creepy bastard, you will not! The girls in this scene are talking like extras in a video game where the actors only recorded like three voice lines. And they're just on repeat because you're too close to them. What the hell kind of place is this? What's going on? Oh, jeez. Go ahead, kid. The son of a bitch is all yours. Oh, let's split. No, I want to watch. This guy is a real jerk. Before I trust you with my secret, we must puff puff pass. Thus is the word of Snoop Diggity Dog. Only a ninja can destroy a ninja. Mo, mo, mo. Most, 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 most excellent agent we've ever seen. She is possessed by a, a black ninja with all the powers of the nine hand cutting. Bloody mole! We're not supposed to talk about the bloody mole, but there's a bloody mole winking me in the face. No, no nothing can be done. I, I tell you, she will be totally... Don't you tell me nothing can be done. I'm going to chop it off and cut it up and make some guacamole. Come on, open that truck. Give me a baton. Give me a baton. Me too. Yeah, I know we have guns, but I just really want to beat the shit out of somebody. I should have pointed this out earlier, but his goddamn seat covers are just as bad as he is. Oh my god, he's got a steering wheel cover too. Is that knockout smoke or teleportation smoke? Oh shit, I guess it's both. Okay, well that's confusing. That was it. Uh, That was Ninja 3, The Domination. And yeah, it was incredible. I loved all of it, except Billy Blue Balls, he can fuck right off. Thank you so much for watching. 
Please subscribe if you have not already. I'm trying to get the numbers up. We're so close to 500. Let's push through. Let's get to the number, please and thank you. Like the video, hit the bell, leave some comments. Uh, give me some more ninja movie suggestions. I can't get enough of these. I really can't. I will see you in the next one, which I said it might, again, it might be about a week because I will be on vacation. But until that fateful day, stay happy and stay healthy.